Uh, the chair now recognizes uh, the gentleman from Michigan, Mr. Molinar. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you for uh, continuing to stay with us on this. Uh, I just wanted to follow up on some questions about the ditches that we were talking oh, about. Lord. Okay. And, uh, do you ditches have become my favorite. Thing. Well, you know, I, I think your goal was clarity, but I think there is a lot of confusion out there. And, you know, I guess the question I have is, do you anticipate that a farmer, a business, or a local government would not face legal action for not applying for a federal permit because they believed their ditches were exempt. So in other words, if someone believes sincerely that their ditch is exempt, will they uh, not face legal action or would at some point the EPA rule differently? Well, people are expected to know that, that if there is a question they should ask but EPA and the Army Corps are not in the business of going around and, and, and as you're implying and, and chasing people for this. It, it really is a matter of trying to provide clarity. It, the farmers and ranchers I know care about drinking water as much as I do. They're not interested in polluting or destroying. Right. They're interested in maintaining that for their own benefit and their own kids. So this isn't a, 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 an opportunity to do anything more than give them more tools and more certainty. Okay. And, and the process will continue to work as it's always worked. Would you be willing to clarify that in statute? Because what you're telling me today is your interpretation of the rule. And someday someone else will be in your position Many people throughout the country will be implementing this rule and will have different opinions on that. And even though you say they won't be chasing people around, there is an enforcement obligation that actually does lead them to chasing people around. And so my question is, would you be willing to clarify that in statute so there's no ambiguity on that? I, 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 I don't know what I'm clarifying here, sir. All I'm telling you is how the current system works, which is people are obligated to ask when there is, when there is a concern and, and it's a marginal call. They're supposed to know they have to protect those waters. We've made it as clear as we possibly can what waters should be protected. They should use that judgment, ask if they're uncertain, and everything will be okay. Well, I'm going to continue to try and work with you on this because right. I think I'd your be goal is that. clarity, but there is a lot of confusion out there. Uh, and when there's a lot of confusion, it's going to re result in a lot of unintended consequences for costs for people, yeah. and legal interpretations, consultant fees. Sir, one of the things we're doing, which, which might be of interest, and I'd ha be happy to work with you on it, is we're trying to develop a question and answer for folks that are asking questions so that it's, it's, it's available to them and it helps guide them if there's lack of clarity. Okay. But uh, we, we'll never get 100% clear, but I think we tried to get as far along as we could in making it as clear as possible so they can do their business without concern. Okay, thank you.